All right, guys, today we're going to check out Pixar Rope 1995, which is the second edition of Pixar Rope, which 1989 was the first one, which was an awesome game. Bring back a lot of nostalgia. This is the 1999, 1995 version, which I was nine years old at this time, so this is going to bring back a lot of memories. You got this scene right here that's going to look like Castlevania. But right now we are on level three, and that is because when I started recording, uh, I ended up leaving my play space and ended up stopping my recording and I didn't realize I was not recording the first three levels of the game. So we're going to go back, start from level one so I can show you what this game is like. And so far I got to say it's been it's been super fun and uh, I think you guys really enjoy it. But let's go to the first level so you can get a feel of how this game how it plays. Oh man, that sucked that I, it was not recording. Alright, so let's start over. So it's like any old school handheld game, you get to use the joystick to go, well, at least the D-pad back in the day, but you get forward back, you got jump, you got shoot. So you play as Dot, which is a superhero character in the game where she gets to play as well as in the game of the game console while you are playing in the game world here, but it also brings it into the real world as well, which we'll see coming up here. So we got the pixel stone, which is the, the power stone for everything we get to do here. So you got jump, you get hold boot. If you hold the B button, you get the power shot. So I save the world. Hey. So here we are, we are Dot to get this superhero, we gotta put our outfit on. We're ready to go, we got we get the nations, put those on. The hair's all ready, of course we need to fix that with a nice hair pick. There we go. Like I said, this was supposed to be a first in person's video, so this should be all new to me, which it was, but like I said, I was not recording the whole time. Ah. Put on my chest shield. Last thing to complete it. The helmet. Power. Alright. If you ever wanted to see what it feels like to be in Zelda world. Old school Zelda. This is what the feel you get with this though. So new player sync, so I'm Dot, I'm playing in the game world, but I need to actually have somebody in the real world 
who is one of the best players out there that can help us beat this team and help us beat the the site the the lord that's trying to take over everything so we're gonna sync up with a player but we first need to find somebody Alright, so let's find a player from 1995. Yeah, David Keane. He's obviously the best player. Nine years old, located in New Jersey. An unbelievable amount of gaming time. The AOL screen, get to sign up. So I guess since I have played the first three levels, we can do get you a feel for each level and not have to go through the whole thing. And then we'll jump to level three and then we can keep going. So the first level, you get here, you get your controller, you get your joystick that moves everything. You only have two buttons. You get the, of course, B and A on your Oculus Quest controller. And of course, it's pretty cool because it syncs up with what you're doing in the game world. You can actually interact with the other world. Of course, it's very limited, but... Um, like the game, we need to play the game, so I'll put the game in the cartridge. I'll press the play button, get going. Right. Need your help. Let's go. Hey, hey, dork! What you play in there? So we'll find out. Is that pixel rip a dot to the future? Huh? I beat that game like a gazillion That's times. Nice, buddy. Talk to him, Mom. I don't like him. Why? Seriously? The day has barely started and you're already on that video game? You don't even know what's inside th that plastic box. Uh, people are saying there's radiation uh -huh. leaking from it. Do you know what radiation could do to a growing oh, boy? Yeah, David. Maybe that's why you're so short. <gasps> oh, my. You think so? Really, Mom? Oh, no. I gotta ask the pediatrician about this. I'm only nine years old, of course I'm short. Mike, go home. I think that's a book. I think he's playing a Game Boy, Mom. You should know by now I don't like Mike. Just like Sonic, you get the. David, David, come say hi oh, to no, no, I'm busy. Never mind, that video game's got him hypnotized again. I know, I'm trying, but Greg keeps indulging. Why do I need to be the bad guy? Can you please? Something called Ulti? Ultra? Ultimate? Ultra 32. The next awesome game is coming out. I can't do that. Oh, Christmas. I don't want to be What am I going to do? Ah, oh, really? 
So yeah, object of the game is, of course, just get through the actual game as if you're actually playing it on your TV screen at home here with your mom. But she will have the option. She'll try to turn on the turn off the game for you, which is what we don't want. And the only way to stop her from doing that is to distract her. Once we get to that point, I'll show you how we do that. Oh no. Went bald after playing bald. too much. I can you believe that? No, I can't. That kind of radiation. Ah. Oh. What's happening to kids these days? When we were little, we had to beg our parents to let us go out. Now all David wants to do is stay home all day. What? David! Are you still on that thing? I, uh, I'm sorry, Isabella. I'm going to have to call you back. Okay, David, time's up. Do I need to force you to turn that thing? That's it. I'm sorry, but I need to... What? How did this happen? So we, as you see, I distracted my mom by shooting over the cookie jar so she can pick up some stuff while we do that. So I can get back in the game and keep playing. Oh, there he is. Where the heck did you get that tree? How did you end up with a tree like that? What? 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 Oh, you're talking crazy! This, this was the best tree of the lot! Really, Greg? That one? Okay, okay, okay I'm sorry. So many trees. They're all so pretty. I didn't choose this one. Oh, and, and then I got hungry, so, so, I, so I went to get a burger, but I got some mustard on my jacket. But I was, you know. Stop! It, it's okay. We'll make it work. David, what? dear, I think your father needs your help fixing up that tree. No, 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 no need to bother him. He must be in the middle of saving the That's world right, or Dad. something. That's right, right Dad. I got this in the bag. You'll see. This caterpillar is about to turn into one. He doesn't need me, Mom. Butterfly. We're good. Whatever you say, There we go, there we go. And that is chapter one. So you can get a kind of sense for the game, so you actually played a game within a game. It's really creative and actually, you know, looking at watching on YouTube or seeing this on video, it's not as cool as it looks, but being in the game is super fun. So as you can see, the game is totally damaged. Everything's freaking out. You know, the pixels all messed up and things like that. And now, if you live back in this day when you play games of this style, this isn't uncommon. I remember playing games like this. Um, you just have to buy a new game. Now we're gonna reconnect with our human, which is David, from New Jersey. We need to get a new cartridge of pixel rip because we broke the old one. The only way to get that is from hmm, old school Blockbuster. Oh, look who's here. 
there. Come to ask my help, you do. Oh, hi, Mr. Keen. Hey, Mike. What's crack a How you doing, dude? Just chilling, keeping it real, hella fly, you know. Cool, cool. Same here. Yeah. Well, I'm off to enjoy those discounts before the sale ends. You kids have fun. Oh, isn't that the game you were looking for, David? What? But you were just playing this at your house. What happened? Your cartridge ran away to find a better player? Oh, zing! Well, if you want it so much, maybe we can make things more interesting. You see the new Rad Raccoon game over here? You're supposed to find seven diamonds to beat it, but I just found a secret eighth diamond that no one knew about. If you can find it too, I'll let you rent my copy. Good luck, dork! Uh, so we'll have to play this game and try to find those diamonds. Alright, so now you can see we have two different systems going on here. We got... So as you can see right now, my bullet is not able to penetrate this brick. So, we'll need to switch over to this game over here and be able to collect an item that will help us get through. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, so now as you can see right here, I can't get over this point right here. But I did collect these bombs at the top right there, as you can see. I got only 10 seconds for the item. So let's grab these bombs and we'll switch over to here. And now I have the bombs in the other game. I can use that to get past this level. Did you see the graphics on the new Ultimate 32? Yeah! Everything looks so real! Oh, you have no idea! It'll be a There's a lot of bombs again. I'll have to switch over to this one. There are the bombs, the back. So we got two diamonds so far. Now we get an umbrella, which I'm gonna switch over to this one. I'm use that umbrella to get past so this level. And the design of that they put in this game is super cool and it's super creative and original and I really it's again something it's, you can only achieve in VR. In the next two games are there like that. It's, Still second nice. place. Here, you can have your stupid old game. I didn't even want it that much. Stupid, ugly, fat <laughs> raccoon. I should have picked something with aliens and guns or something. Hey, ready to go, champ? Oh, you got your game. Let me take that for you. Alright, so now we got the replacement game, and uh, we'll. Congratulations. You are customer number 10,000 million. Your prize is the power. Multiplier X. Oh, oh my, oh my. What are the chances? Oh, wow. So cool. Look, champ, we got this uh, thing.
thing. It's a, an, an add-on. It's, it's, it's supposed to enhance the graphics of your um, uh, power system. Well, he said you could even play some 3D games with this. Huh? Yeah. Oh, you can look at it in the car. Now we got to hurry. We still need to stop at the supermarket before we head home. How do we have 3D games and still no flying cars? Science is so weird. All right. So we got the game. We got some kind of 3D Whoa, modifier here. The supermarket was packed, huh? I sure hope we got everything to make your mom's banana bread. <laughs> She's still pretty mad about what you did to the television. You, you'd be grounded for the rest of the holidays if I hadn't talked her out of it. But, um, <laughs> please don't do it again, okay? Now we only have one television left, champ. <laughs> now we got another boss we need to beat. After this boss, we'll finally be at where I was at the beginning. And I finally realized that I wasn't recording this whole time. Bloody heck, the monsters followed us in the human world. All right. David, you gotta hear this. Last week, this guy. So this said this scene really, really reminds me of playing so like that. Don't do that. Just pretty, call like me a, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle <laughs> games that I used to play back uh, in on the old Nintendo's classic. Oh. So we need to throw here? bananas on the ground. Him? Watch out for the X's. Get that spun out. Blend the two worlds together in this level. Get the cookies. Dig, we dig, he digs, they dig. It may not be beautiful, but it's deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Not that much help left. To avoid the castle all together and go straight to the end, huh? Alright, so now this is gonna be new for all of us. So I haven't played any of this coming up here. So this is all new, so let's see what it's like. So far I gotta say this game is fun. I love the I love how they mix the two worlds, of VR, uh, old school nineteen ninety five games and Castlevania. Just uh, Yeah, just the whole thing. It's alright. Okay, so looks like we're at home. Little advertisement for 1989. We got the we got the 3D power multiplier. Let's see what that does to the game. Ooh, so nice. Time played. We got nine hours. All right. I thought that was lava on the ground for a second. I wasn't trying. I was trying to avoid it. Oh 
What was that noise? David, it's past your bedtime. Oh. You know that means I'll like out. <sighs> Mom. Oh, don't look at me like that. I'm just looking out for you. Your aunt read in a magazine that playing games at night will burn your retina. Do you want a burned retina, David? That's not true, hmm? no. I don't think you do. That's not true. Well, I'm going to bed now. But if I even hear one beep coming from your room, I'll come right back. Nighty night, honey pie. Broke the button. Button's there. Can't turn it down. Another noise. David, that TV better be off. Yep. It is. Wonderful. I'm hearing video games in my sleep. No, no. David, was that you? What? Huh? My boy is making me paranoid. And it took me long enough to figure out that I gotta avoid that creaky wood on the floor. I'll wake up, mom. Of course, the gun, gun for ah, gosh, dang it. These games are making me lose my marbles. I'm dead. Nothing? Great. I'm hearing things now. At the checkpoint. Paranoid. You knocked me back to the checkpoint, you. I don't know, I'm good, I'm good. Ah, stuck. Oh, I glitched out. No, no, no. Are you trying to trick oh, me, crap. boy? Turn that television off and go it's to off. sleep. It's off. Don't, don't, don't. That was close. I almost turned it off. Still good? Oh, really? you did. Mom just doesn't understand. This is important. You must win the fate of the world. He's counting on me.
do we do now? Oh, this is kinda this is cool. What is this? Response. We get ice cream. I don't want to play anymore. Alright, so see I'm back in my place eating some ice cream, sulking with myself, not feeling good about myself, but it looks like I do have some more missions I can go to, uh, but I think that's going to be the end of this uh, intro or first impressions video of this game of Pixel Rip 1995, um, and these games just keep getting better and better, 1989 was, was fun, this one's even better, I love the design style, this is level 3, and I believe there's a total of 6, so this is halfway through the game, I believe the game is going to be coming out for $20. Or $19.99 on the Octopus Store. But I personally think it's a great game. I think it's one you guys would probably want to pick up and play. I myself enjoyed it. But of course, with every uh, Octopus Quest policy, you do have the return policy. So if you don't like it within the first hour or so, you can go ahead and return it and get your money back. But <clears throat> for me, I thought it was fun. Uh, it's a different, uh, original style of gaming. You know, the VR while also playing a game on your front screen and trying to avoid having your mom catch you in the middle of the night playing video games and stuff like that. Just super creative, super fun, I enjoyed it, kind of kept you on your toes, feeling a little nerve-wracking having to keep grabbing my controller every time I ran into something noisy in the game. No, just, just in general, the whole game, I enjoyed. So that is it for this one, guys. Uh, thanks for enjoying um, watching this game video. Again, feel free to subscribe to my videos. I love uh, sharing with you guys and let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to cover, I'll gladly do so. But with that, I am done with this one. I'll see you guys on the next one.